I'm gonna show you how to make a moving random loot. Oh my god, I'm getting mixed up my words. I'm gonna show you how to make a random generated loot in a general map or whatever map you have. So it should be pretty simple. This is the simplest thing to do. So let's start off with the basics. You'll need a trigger. You'll need. You don't really need one of these. So just put your loot in, like ammo and mats in. And you'll need. You'll need. I don't need that because I'm trust with the pool. We don't need that. I'm pretty sure they're called item spawner. Item spawner, sorry. Item spawner. Okay. You don't, no, not item spawner, my bad. That's why you don't listen to me half the time. Is that. Oh my god. No, yeah, no, it's item granter. I am correct. Item granter. Okay, I was right the first round. You need an item granter. So, what I'm just gonna say is. We'll start off with the trigger. Trigger is the main first thing you want to do. You only need one trigger. It'll be really simple. You find them in the devices area. Yeah. And I'm going to show you the stuff you need to change. The stuff you need to change in a trigger is activate on game phase. Delay one second. Trigger sound. Disable both of these sounds. Don't need any sounds. When triggered, transmit on channel one. Pause it if I went through that too quick. Um, but now let's get into the item granters. So whatever you want first, we're gonna start with your first one. So if the first for me would be shotgun. And what you want to change is on grant action key pool, cycle behavior wrap, cycle what to random item receiving from channel two when an item granted on channel three. So then for your second slot, which would be your SMGs or whatever, just copy those settings, keep all, only if space, wrap, channel 3, channel 4. So, if we go to this one, this is channel 2 and channel 3, we go up from each one, we we'll do the same for the next one. Channel 4 and channel 5, keep all, basically all the same, you're just going up on the channels, channel 5 to channel 6, and it should be channel 6 to channel 7. And then that's out of the way. So after you've done that, also you can do this. Nothing to change. Just but I'll tell you what's cool, just in case you don't know, is the team settings and inventory. In the devices area, then you drop your amount of ammo you want, certain amount of ammo, certain amount of map. That's it for that. And there's one more thing we will do before we end off the video is if we go down here, the last thing we need. Is a mutator zone. Let me show you what a mutator zone is. This is why I don't know what a mutator zone is. I'm pretty sure it's at the bottom. Yes, it's at the bottom. Mutator zone is what it looks like. Go down those, go in the middle of your map. Well, I recommend the middle. You want to set everything on the 100. So the whole map is filled in a blue, nice blue box. So everyone can get the random generated loot. The stuff you need to change is allow weapon fire. Yes, you need that on. Otherwise, no one can shoot in the map. So make sure you have that on. And I'll see all those 200. Enable that game start. No. Enable receiving from channel 1. Disable receiving from channel 2. On player entering zone. Transmit on channel 2. That's all you need to change for this. Then if we start the game. I'll show you that it's random generated. So I've got a gold lever with the go, and basically that's all I've got. So if I end game, start again, I'll have different levers. So let's start the game again. Let's play again. Um, yeah, we've got a charge, a love bow, a Okay, 
Okay, let's end game. Quink put in my kitchen. Obviously, you need more than one shotgun in your slots. So, let me go back to the area and just quickly explain. I forgot to explain that you can add more for the three random generated. Obviously, you don't add one shotgun than one SMG than one assault rifle. Otherwise, it just wouldn't work. So, if we go down here. Here it is. So obviously in your item granters, you can place more than one in each one. So amount of shotguns in here, you choose how many you want. It can be any amount of shotguns. Same for SMGs, same for assault rifles, and same for your sniper. If you want snipers. You can have two different types. You can have throwable items instead of snipers, it's up to you. But I have throwable items in my med slot, so it's not always meds. So just place different stuff in each one. That's what makes it random. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. See you for the next video.